Just outside of the city of San Diego is Coronado, a family-friendly island town full of history, ghosts, sailors, and good food. Here are a few things to know before you go. It seems that many things on this tiny island town revolve around the lore of the Grand Hotel del Coronado. This massive beachfront resort is one of the oldest of its kind in the United States, celebrating I's 125th anniversary this year. It's been visited by 11 presidents, and film productions have ventured south from Hollywood to film at the resort since 1901. Coronado has quite the history, from its involvement in early train travel to some of its early inhabitants and the famous visitors it has enticed. But Coronado played a key role in America's naval aeronautical development, starting with World War I. The Coronado Historical Association and Museum of History and Art is a quick, informative stop during with a collection of photographs, military paraphernalia, garments, and other artifacts that tell the story of life on the island. For those of us who can't leave home without a pair of running sneakers, a jaunt down the coastline at sunrise. Okay, let's be real, maybe an hour after sunrise, Silver Strand State Beach provides a peaceful two-mile strip. If you wake up early enough, you might find yourself running alongside some of the Navy's best, who also use the beach to train. If you want to bag yourself a sailor, grab a cold one at the Coronado Brewing Company, the island's only brewery. You may be saying, only? But the city of San Diego is home to dozens of breweries, making it one of the hottest cities in the U.S. for craft beer lovers. Coronado Beach is a 1.5-mile stretch of beautiful, sandy coastline, perfect for a relaxing, refreshing, and fun day at the beach. The sand, deposited northward from the exquisite shores of Mexico, provides a soft surface for lying out as well as the perfect material for the sand castle man. This Venetian-style gondola company offers trips through the canals of the Coronado Cays. You can bring snacks and wine on board to add to the romance. The experience lasts 50 minutes and is offered Wednesday to Sunday. Actually the biggest of the parks on the island, Tidelands Park is tucked away off the main tourist drag. It's the perfect spot to ride a bike, have a picnic, or take a walk. There are picnic tables, a jungle gym, and art installations to enjoy.